how y'all doing? I'm coming back since the storm is gone, but we coming in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in, y'all. I'm so ready to talk to y'all. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Y'all ready? I'm ready. I think I'm ready. <laughs> Come on in. Hey, y'all. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks. that sit and chat with me. This hood girl to the hood. Y'all, y'all saw what the movie is about today. Uh, we have some fettuccine, shrimp, garlic butter. Pour it over it. Mm -hmm, it's going to be good. And uh, this is February. I think this, the, uh, almost at the end already, all right? So, uh, this is scene one, take one. Let's roll the tape. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Y'all, this is the day after the other days we had from the storm. Yeah. Wow. Look here, y'all. Look what we got. Mm -hmm. Y'all see? Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can get some focus. Let's say prayers. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us through the storm. You know, we know that when the storm is over, the sun will shine. Thank you for giving us strength to endure, to go through this, Lord. Mm. For those who uh, went home to you, I pray for their soul that's blessed. Oh, Lord. Mm. Thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Y'all, let's toast. You ready? For strength, family, and love. So, salut, salut. Let's sip, sip this good hood stuff. Cheers. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. And y'all know I got my salad. You know, those, those bread and butter pickles, red onion, lettuce, tomato, cucumbers, red bell pepper. Mm -hmm. Y'all, honey, where are y'all now with, with this storm? This winter storm, y'all. You know, we in Texas and we went through some darkness, um, lights, water. So this is the first day that my light stayed on all day. Um, mm, mm, that's good. I didn't lose my water, but it was low water for a couple of days. But the first day that it came, Y'all, I was freezing in here. Dave and them still had lights, so I was scared to drive on them streets. So I waited for one day. Then I said, okay, Lord, you got to be with me. And he took me safely to Dave and them house. And then I stayed there. Then my building manager sent an email. I'm sorry, y'all. Did y'all check some? Here you go. Y'all can have the first bite of this shrimp and fettuccine. Here you go. Yum, yum. Give me some. Mm hmm Y'all, so I came back home. The lights were on. Uh, then, y'all, Two hours later, they went back off. So I just bundled up, prayed. I have a, a Game Boy, or whatever that is. I played the game. Mm-hmm. I laid. I just prayed, and you know, like you know what? We can't do nothing about it. And one thing that I say to me and others. When you're not in control, just flow with it, you know? Sometimes it's hard, you know? So, 
And then they said, here y'all, take that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We're going to have some rolling blackouts. So the lights come on for two hours and go out for four hours. It's back and forward until today. So, you know, we have to go through some things. The Bible says that. So, I pray that everybody who's looking at me, that your lights are on and your water is flowing because um, here, some people have lights and no water. Some people have water and no lights. And some people don't have either. It's still right now, you know. And then I was reading the news. I'm looking at the news. They fussing now. We're ERCOT. Mmm. Mmm, that shrimp is good. Because now they point the fingers. Because they said that they weren't supposed to do that. So, you know, these officials in them offices, mm -hmm. I just don't know, y'all. The only thing I can say, I don't know why my nose running, is that you got to pray without ceasing. We got to get together and pray. Two or more gathered. Touching and agreeing. God said, I'm right there in the midst. We just have to do it. This is the time. You know? Do y'all see it? Really, do you see it? Hmm. Right now they say the night is going to freeze. The wind is really blowing hard. I just pray that the lights stay on, you know. So I probably need to eat faster. <laughs> But I'm too slow. Mmm. I was looking at, uh, Lolly, and she had some crab, some uh, snow crabs and, um, uh, pasta and fettuccine. And some corn, all things Lolly, and some corn on car. So, I was like, I knew what I was gonna do. Then I had I had a bottle of uh, Alfredo, and I was like, "Now let me just do my butter and my garlic." And God said the same. I'm gonna give me some blue crabs tomorrow. I'm pull them out the freezer in the morning. Mmm. I'm gonna tell you about my job. I didn't know how to record the time that I was off with no light. You know, my company is really good, you know, with disasters and things that that's, you know, what we don't control with, with the, with the weather, uh, we don't, we're getting paid and, uh, they said, and you get 10 days, uh, if you need to get your, your stuff in order again, you get 10 days pay with, with the, with this situation, man, that's wonderful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So I hope everybody job is taking care of them because we're not in control of the weather, you know? Mm. Yeah, this is really good.
the first day when I woke up, it was Monday, day after Valentine's Day. And I remember my lights going out like at three o'clock in the morning. So when I was wondering what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell y'all, keep the chips and your crackers, things in your pantry that you can pull out and eat. That's what I had to do, but it was okay for me. <laughs> it really was. Mm. This is good. Now this salad is just good. Y'all want some? You can have some. Here you go. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Y'all know I'm a pasta fan. I missed a lot of videos. Uh, when I ain't have no problem. And, um, you, you can't catch up. <laughs> once you, once you have two or three days, it's hard to catch up, so. If I haven't commented on, on y'all videos, just understand that I had no power for three days. You know? Because when the power go on and off, when they come back on, you thinking, let me cut this up. Let me prepare this. Let me do this. Let me do that. Because you ain't know when it's going to go out. So, I wasn't thinking about you too. I missed it. <laughs> but I wasn't thinking about it. You know. Mm, that's so good. For me as a survivor, I just put it in motion. You don't even think about it, you know? I, I'm, I'm glad that I'm by myself, though. I'm glad that I have no children, you know, young children. So yesterday, my life was on for a couple of hours. And then David called me for the first time. And all these days, they, life, they lights went out yesterday. But they back on today. But they went to Nikki's cousin house. Because at that time, when they was thinking about coming to my house, my lights was off again. <laughs> Go figure. And then... Last night, um, I think they came on at 6.30. And I know my souls was getting ready to come on. Like, mad at first sight, I'm thinking, like, ooh, stay on just a, just one hour if you can, because I want to. That This marriage at first sight just, I don't know what to say about it. If Paige... You know, Paige, Paige must, she must like harshness. She must like abuse. Because for me, I don't believe nothing Chris say. Nothing. And all the rest of the couples... I don't know why they. I don't know why they pick those people. I don't think none of them really want to be married. Mm -mm. Mm. 
I don't think I don't think they're gonna be married. Ryan and Haley. <laughs> they do like each other. But Ryan thinks she talked too much and he never said the L word. Love, that is. To anybody. I just look and laugh at them. And then I say, why? Y'all, Chris has a temple. I just don't know what she see. If she won't love that bad, come my page. Do you want love that bad? <laughs> mm -mm. I tell y'all a few times, and I'll say it again. I'd rather be single and happy. Every day. Before I, I take abuse from anybody. It's just not going to happen. Not this life. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know that bad. <laughs> And when people, when, when, you, when you get married, marriage is hard, but beautiful. It's a work every day. You got to trust. You got to be transparent. You got to talk things through. You have to forgive, you know. You have to let people be who they are and not try to change anybody. That's Eric and that young girl. I don't know why they did that age year difference. She's an alcoholic. And I think he knows it. But she said that's her life. One thing I'm going to say right here and right now, people, when you get married, you are no more single. You got to let that single life go. You got to let all them friends go and keep the ones that's really about you so you can have a, a shoulder to cry on if you need it. But you can't have a separate life. Can't do that single stuff no more. Get married. And I know that I'm going back. And I know I and I know I'm going back with Chris and Paige. He said he don't believe in no um joint account. But he'll give her what, what is what she needs. And then he talked about her dog. Him on a part of the dog, but she get a whole baby. Okay, y'all. I can talk about that show on and on. They need me uh, as an expert. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Y'all, this food is good. Toast to y'all safety. Okay, let's see, y'all. I'm about to belch. Y'all know that, right? Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. 
Cool. Mm. Excuse me, I'm full. But I will have some good leftovers, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, let's sing. <clears throat> it's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. Who y'all, whatever y'all do for the rest of the day, wherever you are, be still, be safe, okay? Say your prayers, be thankful, and I love y'all, okay? So, just love. That's all I can say. Love your neighbors. You know, if somebody have nothing, if you have it, just give it. Don't even think about it, you know? Because right now, we need each other, okay? I love y'all. Bye-bye for now.